Hi, Achim Schleifel, Inner Space Explorers. And by the way, yesterday evening somebody said to me, everybody knows your videos, but nobody knows ISE. And I was like, mm, strange, because the channel is Inner Space Explorers. Um, so, in case you don't know, check out the link here. Inner Space Explorers, it's an agency and you can do classes here. Just in case you didn't know. Um, the purpose of the video obviously is different. Somebody asked me if I could um, make a video about decompression, emergency decompression for recreational diving. And as we are in Egypt, we do a lot of, of recreational dives here, so all in the 30 meter range. Um, it probably fits perfectly. And um, yeah, let's, let's see what it is all about. Generally, in Inner Space Explorers, we do what we call ISE Minimum Deco. And Minimum Deco is basically nothing else than what other agencies call a safety stop. So safety stop is normally either three minutes at five meters or five minutes at three meters, whatever. The problem normally is that it does not create a curve in the ascent. So people come up, they stop, and then they pop to the surface, which which is exactly not what you want. I mean, it slows down the ascent, but just it, it, is, it is a stop. It's not what we want. So basically your ascent always should be a curve and you get slower towards the surface. And um, the ISE minimum deco, as we call it, is actually exactly that. ISE minimum deco is defined as one, uh, one, two, three, which means one minute at nine meters, two minutes at six meters, three minutes at three meters, which as you can see creates that curve that I'm talking about. And um, you may wonder like, oh, this is pretty long. And um, that's actually another, another thing a lot of people ask me like, ah, how can you shorten decompression and this and that? If you don't like to be in the water, then probably diving is just not your sport. So I never have an issue to hang a couple of more minutes on my dive side because, I mean, that's what I like to do. I like to be on the water. And if I'm on a beautiful reef here, um, well, I'm five minutes longer in the water. So what's wrong with this? And um, so the rule that we have says you do this ISE minimum deco on all dives deeper than 18 meters. Why 18 meters? Because your ascent procedure on a recreational dive means you go up to 50% of your maximum depth. So if you're on 18 meters, 50% of your maximum depth is 9 meters. So if you're shallower, this whole concept doesn't really work anymore. But on the other hand, on a dive shallower than 18 meters, I mean, safety stop, etc. Obviously, you're the thinking diver. So you can still do like one, two, just as an example, if you feel you need it. And that brings me to the next point. If you, for example, do extended dives, and we all know that on these dive safaris, for example, I mean, the, the dive profiles and the surface intervals are normally not ideal. So when you do three 30 meter dives back to back on one of these boats with two, meet, two hour intervals in between, that's far from what we recommend. But on the other hand, reality is people do that. So if you do, let's say your first dive, 30 meters, you're pretty close to the no decompression limit, may it be 20 minutes on, on air or 30 minutes on nitrox 32, whatever. You do your ISD minimum deco one, two, three. So now you do a surface interval, do the same dive again. Not recommended, but anyway, people do it. The question was, what do you do then? I would simply extend it. So now how can you extend it? Well, one option might be to just take it one step deeper, like one, two, three, four. So you do one at 12, two at nine, three at six, four at three. The other option might be to extend it by extending the stops. So you do two, four, eight, for example, two, four, six, whatever. So the, the, the main thing is that you decompress, not how you decompress. So I also want you to be open for different strategies. So for example, you do a repetitive dive that is relatively shallow or you spend the later part of the dive relatively shallow, let's say in the 12 meter range, but you still think like, mm, it was, let's say an exerting dive, there was strong current, it's a repetitive dive and so on. But you may feel that 
these three meter increments do not fit because it's 12, 9, 6, 3. If you're on 12 meters, I mean, how many increments? I mean, you basically would start your decompression at the depth that you end the dive. So it um, doesn't really fit, but who says it has to be three meter increments? Why don't do two meter increments? Why not start, let's say, six, four, two? I mean, it's, it's, it's not a rule, it's not a law. So I want you to think about a certain creativity when making these stops. And again, the thing is decompress, build a curve and not just go up, make a stop and then pop to the surface. Actually making a stop, let's say at five meters and then shooting to the surface harms you probably more than doing a slow ascent without the stop. So I know it's a pretty controversial topic. Um, I know it's a great one for the haters again, it's like all these controversial videos. So for my patrons, it's I hope for a, for a long and detailed discussion. I would really like to, to hear what you do, what you think about it. All the questions you have, happy to answer them. And um, if you check out our courses, you will see that this is one of the topics that we do in detail. So maybe you also want to have a look at the recreational program from ISE. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the discussion. See you next Friday. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Check out uh, Facebook and all the other channels from ISE. And thanks for watching.